Hi friends, uh, let us have a discussion on Pigouvian tax. Pigouvian tax is a tax on any market activity that generates negative externalities. Negative externality occurs when the action of one party imposes cost on another party. For, for example, suppose a steel plant dumps its waste in a river that affects the society. This external cost on society does not reflect in the price of steel. According to Pigou, negative externalities prevents a market economy from reaching equilibrium when the producers do not take on all cost of production. This adverse effect might be corrected. Pigou's solution was to impose a tax on each unit of output above socially desirable level. So, if so, the industry would face a higher private marginal cost and competitive output would be reduced. Higher marginal cost means the cost of input plus the tax. The optimal tax replicates the efficient outcome. The purpose of the Pigouvian tax is to redistribute the cost back to the producer or user of the negative externality. That is internalization of the external cost. Next, let us see some Pigouvian style taxes. First of all, tax on pollution. Pollution from a factory creates a negative externality because people nearby bear the cost of pollution. The polluter considers only private costs, not the external costs. Tax on pollution provide clear incentive to the polluters to reduce emissions and seek out cleaner and sustainable alternatives. According to WHO report, Delhi is the most populated city in India based on various parameters such as levels of nitrogen oxide and sulfur dioxide. Then second one, carbon emission tax. The carbon emission tax is intended to factor the cost of burning fossil fuels which is paid by the society. As of 2009, up to 29 countries have implemented carbon taxes. In India, it was levied in 1982, but it was reformed in 2003. Third one is uh, green taxes. It is also called environmental taxes or eco taxes. There is a green tax on all the private four wheelers in the state. And last one uh, is the tax on plastic bags, which is implemented in Europe against the uses of plastic bags. Pigouvian tax can be explained with the help of figure. In the figure, x-axis denotes the output of a competitive industry, say steel, which generates a negative externality, say smoke and dust that harms nearby homeowners. Uh, D is the demand curve which reflects the marginal social benefit of producing steel and S is the industry supply curve that is the private marginal cost of producing the steel. Uh, SMC is the sum of the private marginal cost to the producers and the marginal harms to the homeowners. The competitive equilibrium occurs at A where marginal cost is equal to marginal revenue so the competitive prices of prices will be at p1 and the competitive output will be at q1 the society is optimum level of out of output happens at q star uh, it is given by the intersection of the marginal social cost and marginal benefit curve at point b more than the efficient amount of steel is produced here and the deadweight cost of the externality is shown by the triangle ABC. Apico's solution was to impose a tax on each unit of output. Suppose the government imposes an optimal tax at T star which is equal to the difference between the social and marginal cost at the efficient level of output that is BD. Uh, it is a corrective tax that is equal to the marginal external cost. When the tax imposes in the industry supply, uh, when the tax imposes, the industry supply curve shift up to ST and it intersects the demand curve exactly at output uh, Q star. Here ST is equal to private marginal cost plus the tax. Uh, ideally, the tax would be equivalent to the external damage caused by the producer and thereby reduce the external cost going forward. Uh, here, the society gains the amount of the reduction of production and producers lose because of the tax they have, they have to pay and the government gains the revenue equal to the area BDEF in the figure. Uh, next, let us uh, see the counter arguments to the Pigouvian tax. Pigou's externality theories were dominant in mainstream economics for 14 years but lost favor after Nobel Prize winner Ronald Coyes present his ideas. Using Pigou's analytical framework, 
Koyes demonstrated that the goose examination and solution were often wrong for at least three separate reasons. The reasons are, first one, negative externalities did not necessarily lead to an inefficient result. Second one is that even if uh, they were inefficient, Pigovian taxes did not tend to lead to an efficient result. And third one is that the, criti uh, the critical element is transaction cost theory, not an externality theory. Then next, uh, let us see the advantages of the uh, tax. Uh, it discourages undesirable behaviors. And secondly, it encourages economic efficiency. And lastly, may generate additional government revenue. Uh, the disadvantages of the taxes are taxes can increase the burden on low income earners and uh, can uh, backfire, the cre uh, backfire and create the opposite of the desired effects. Lastly, it is difficult to measure. Thank you.